ever wish you were diagnosed with terminal cancer? No. <laughs> I've never wished that. What the hell is wrong with you? You have an excuse to tell everyone. To tell them what? Everything. You've ever wanted to tell them. All the things you wanted to say, but couldn't. You can say what you want anytime. No, you can't. Well, you can't now. You couldn't before. You really couldn't before. And you would know when you die. But we're not supposed to know. But I want to. But we're not supposed to. When do we ever want? what we're supposed to want. Or do we ever get what we want? What do you want? I don't know. I know what I want. I want to know. I know that I want to know what I want to know what I want. You're supposed to ask what I want. I don't care about what you want. <laughs> I want for you to stop talking, but I also want you to keep talking. That way I don't have to hear silence or think about what you said. <laughs> I want for us to have fur and to fuck like animals and then to die like animals without worry, without thought. What? <laughs> Never mind. Okay. <laughs> My 
vocabulary is fucking excellent. <laughs> <laughs> you want us to make a decision? Affirmative. How about this decision? Seems simple. Simple, perhaps, but illogical. Illogical? Specify. With the male specimen self terminated, what will become of the female? Is that a rhetorical question? <laughs> rhetorical? Define. Whose vocabulary sucks now? <laughs> I'm the person asks a question not expecting an answer because the answer is either obvious and or the speaker is making a point. Acknowledged. <laughs> to rephrase it in a way that your mind can understand, we need both of you alive, or you both die. Affirmative. <laughs> what the hell is wrong with you? After getting this brief malfunction corrected, I will return for your decision. Please. Please give us time. I gave us time. By shooting him? By shooting it. Do you think... Do you think it hurt? What? Do you think the bullet hurts him? It and no! I mean, I don't know. I mean, maybe. Look, now, we gotta come up with a plan. The way I see it, we have three options. One, we do what they say. Two, one of us stays behind. And see, both of us leave. <laughs> you mean three? Yeah, fuck. <laughs> Is it possible? The worst day of my life is also the last day of my life. Very possible. I think so. Yeah. I'm sorry. What was the best day of your life? Are you getting sentimental now? Does that mean we're doomed? No. sort of scraped it out of this crunchy tubular structure. I remember enjoying the motion with my tongue and how cold it was and it was freezing outside. But I still wanted ice cream and there was a frozen lake and we walked on it. Oui. 
who's with you? My friend. We were waiting for my sister. But before she came, my friend kissed me. And my lips were cold, but minty from the ice cream. And I remember thinking that the ice would crack beneath us and we would be sucked into the frozen pits below, but I didn't care for a second. That sounds happy. <laughs> it was. Until I remembered that the kiss meant nothing and that the ice wouldn't crack so I would have to be stuck above with all those unspoken emotions licking away at my soul. Like my tongue to the ice cream cone. What the fuck? <laughs> I guess there never was a best day. Just a happy moment that was rapidly superseded by sadness. The underlying darkness that was ever present in my former life. Jesus Christ. Superstar, that is depressing as hell. No, it's not. <laughs> it's not, not depressing. I would have nightmares about that shit if we were ever going to sleep again. Do you really think that? Yeah, my dreams would be full of terror. No. <laughs> <laughs> about the sleep part. Yeah. Think about it. Now you're supposed to ask me my best day. Mm -hmm. But I don't care about your best day. Nice. <laughs> well, I can tell you it isn't today. <laughs> but today isn't the worst day. It's not. No, you remember the worst day. I do. to do. I'm eliminating option two. Or B, or whatever. Wow. Okay. So, it's alive, but enslaved, or no chance for future existence. There's the possibility that they could be free. You know, eventually. Eventually? But is it our choice to make? Why do you think they're giving us a choice? I'm not sure. Some sort of fuck up experiment! Possibly. I don't think they're cruel, though. How can you say that? I don't know. I feel a warmth in Sam. What the fuck? He's a motherfucking cyborg. Not a saint. He seems nice. Nice? Yeah. Really? Yeah. I feel like shooting him down right now. Like a fucking Johnny Cash song. He is nicer than you are, anyway. And you're a fucking traitor! I'd rather be mean than be a traitor! A traitor who? There is nobody left to be a traitor to. Except me! Except you!
time of what? She just walked out. Put the gun down. To get some air. So you're not giving us a choice. You will have a choice, but you have to make it together. Why? Because. It is logical for the decision to be made by both representative parties under just consideration. Stop. Stop talking like that. I know no other form of communication. How is your leg? My leg? My leg is, my leg is fine. Did you just stutter? I thought you never made it. We have picked up some homo sapien habits. It was inevitable, I suppose, but rather unfortunate. What else have we picked up? Human things. Well, I am different at nighttime now. Less comfortable with the dark. It is not a habit, but it has changed since my time here. Just me. I do not know about the others. What else? Sometimes I experience nonsense. Nonsense? Affirmative. I was on patrol the other night, and I found myself staring at the Earth's moon for no reason. I stared for approximately 23 human time increments. A few sun cycles later, I could not consume the foodstuffs prescribed to me, and I had this need to leave the rest of the officers. I told them that I heard a suspicious sound, which I had to verify, which I did not. I said something that was completely non-factual. I left for no reason, and I found myself alone. Apart from the collective, I felt a lightness spread through my wires. A body of water appeared before my sight sensors, and my feet took me into the cold, wet blueness. That sounds nice. Nice? It was utterly nonsensical. <laughs> Upon returning to my legion, I had to vocalize another untruth explaining my wet feet and length of absence. <laughs> Discussing these malfunctions with you is completely inappropriate. But I must be malfunctioning again because I cannot stop myself. The need to use my talk box to vocalize the productions of my brain surpasses my calibrations, my limitations, my expectations. construction of logic, I understand both sides of the parable. Of course. I malfunction when I add that I do not consider the selection of option two to be optimal. But there is a 67.693% chance that you select it. You don't want us to die. I don't want My existence, or will to live, is neutralized by my sensitivity processor. I do not dream, I do not sleep, and I am going to be terminated soon regardless due to my recent malfunctioning probability of 97.893%. Terminated? Push of a button. That is all there is. Is it?
Am I fucking interrupting? Negative. There's never enough time for anything. What's that? I said. Actually, never mind. I don't care what you say. I'm done with caring. But. No, no, no. No, no. It's over. Don't you see? Don't you get it? Wrap your fucking brain meat around it. Brain meat? Fuck you. <laughs> and yet, the stuff that makes us think, the gooey garbage of our garbled minds, which persuades our pointless persons with purpose. Specify. Okay. Okay. Before, when humanity first learned to robo dicks were taking over and everything was going to apocalyptic hell, there was a huge shift like a fucking tectonic plate in the collective psyche of us people. Not something you can understand. But we can try, right? Okay, so, after thinking there's a reason for everything and of the stars of destiny, and the strings of fate are conspiring to lead us to some kind of purpose or greatness. The knowledge of futility, the nihilistic truth, was thrust upon us, crushing us long before any external force. Even those that believed in the minute miracles of everyday life could no longer reflect positively on the little things. These details rather reminded them of the incoming fuck of doom. I guess what I mean to say is that before, when we finally knew it was going to happen, everyone thought, shit, you know, turns out my life was meaningless. But now, here we are, Jane and me, with an actually apparent meaning in front of us with complete and total purpose, and we don't even want it. Typical humanoids. But... What? But we don't have to want it. We have a fucking relationship. What do you think you're doing? I think I'm holding a gun. But I could be wrong. What do you think I'm doing? Put down the letter. And nobody gets hurt. Do you know how I survived? Are you really entering into some sort of villainous monologue here? Do you know <laughs> how I survived? This is a rhetorical question. <laughs> <laughs> Listen! I survived because in addition to having street smarts combined with uncanny instincts and a genius level IQ, I was one of the most selfish people on earth. I still am one of the most selfish people on earth, technically. But. But. You don't have to. Never. What? Never. Never mind. I guess. I guess we can go. Where? I don't know. I guess the 
be now. Tis not to come. If it be not to come, it will be now. If it be not now, yet it will come. Readiness is all. Since no man has aught what he needs, what is it to leave the time? What do you think happens now? I don't know. 